who invented Shotakon? That is, who invented the word Shotakon? Shotakon means homoerotic comics featuring young boy characters. It is an expression or a comic genre that was invented by young women in Japan in the 1980s. And uh, it was part of the amateur scene of self-published comics or so-called doujinshi. So that much is known. And what is also known is that Shotakon is a contraction of Shotaro complex. But who invented Shotakon? Why, why Shotakon? Why Shotaro complex? In order to find out, I went out to a suburb to Tokyo in order to meet with Barubora, who is an expert on Japanese subculture and who has written about that and researched it. We managed to find the magazine where the word Shotakon first appeared. ロリータコンプレックスという言葉がつま先にみんなに使われていてそれはでも女の子の場合だじゃあ男の子の場合は何て呼べばいいかっていう時に初多コンっていう言葉が出てきたとこでそれがこの Q&Aのコーナーで初
and the editor of the sister magazine, Animeku, Komaki Masanobu. It was they who came up with this word together. And Komaki Masanobu, he was born in 1954, but he died last year in 2022. And Hamamatsu Katsuki is also born in 1954 and he's active on Twitter. So I asked him on Twitter if he could give me some more information, but I haven't received any reply. I mean, they were 26 when they came up with this and maybe it's not so important to him anymore. So what I think is interesting here is that when these expressions first emerged in the Yaoi Dojinshi scene, they didn't have a name. And before anything has a name, it doesn't really exist. Kimirito writes actually in his book, The History of Hentai Manga, that new expressions are born every day, but it's not until they get repeated enough that they gain traction and gain momentum and become encoded, meaning that they get meaning and they become part of the language of Ero Manga. And I think the same can be said about whole genres, like the genre of uh, Shota. Yes, it started as an expression and then it became encoded because it was so popular, it became so popular, but it didn't have a name and it needed a name. And that's why these editors of FanRoad and Animec came up with a name for it. And of course, I'm very happy to show you that I'm actually in possession of this magazine now, which is a beautiful, it, it's all about um, fan culture and it contains some manga as well. Um, it's not about Shota at all, because Shota hardly existed at the time. That's why they brought it up in the Q&A section. But it's beautiful, and it's printed with all these um, uh, special colors. I love that. And um, and the reason why I have this is because Barubora gifted it to me. So I, I was very happy about that. He saw that I, I needed this more than him. Um, it actually starts with a fold-out. And this is a fold out with drawings from the boxing manga Ringu ni Kakero, or maybe the anime. And um, yeah, I've seen this, I think. But the interesting thing here is that there is actually um, <laughs> one of the boxers seems to be Swedish. Let's have a look at this. It looks like a Swedish boy because there's the Swedish flag and uh, he has long blonde hair. And this is interesting because it's um, the early shonenai in the 1970s when the expression first started to emerge in uh, shoujo manga, in manga for girls, was heavily influenced by European ideas about ideal beauty. And right at that time, the, the film by Lucino Visconti, Death in Venice, had premiered. That was in 1971, and uh, the protagonist is played by 15-year-old Björn Andresen, who is a Swede. Ikeda Ryoko has actually said that she based her character Lady Oscar on Björn Andresen. You can even see in these early commercial shonen eye magazines and uh, on the first issue of uh, June, for example, and also the first issue of June, which I managed to see at the BL exhibition at the Kadokawa Culture Museum outside Tokyo in June 2023. Yeah, it's not Björn Andresen, but it's, it is definitely that ideal. And think also about that uh, Death in Venice was a book by Thomas Mann from 1912. And... Um, and the title of June actually means Genet, as in the French author Jean Genet. Uh, so, so we have here, we have four Europeans, the Italian Lucino Visconti, the Swede Björn Andresen, the German Thomas Mann, and the Frenchman Jean Genet, influencing the tastes of young teenage girls in Japan in the 1970s. That's quite fascinating. Um, so yeah, it was in that landscape that Shota first emerged. And why did it emerge? There are several theories. Um, maybe we'll get into this later, but good idea. Let's get into this later. So this is it for now. Bye-bye.